We've had so many players that think that they're in a good position at net and then we go back and watch the video and they're not and that's exactly why we do so much videoing with our students is to show exactly what we're going to talk about in this. Hi guys, Sandy from the Paddle School here. In this video today, we're gonna to talk about probably the biggest reason at net that players are taking the ball late and missing their volleys. It's something that is quite an easy fix, so we're gonna discuss this today, how they can improve it, and how they can play their best net game. So before we go into the video, let us know down in the comments what you struggle with at the net. And also we have produced so many videos on this channel. Let us know what subjects you haven't seen or the videos that you would like to see in the future and we can definitely get on those. So just put those down in the comments down below. So one of the most common problems for players at net is taking the ball late. And this is something that the players can often be, have quite good technique, be in a relatively good position, and they end up taking the ball late, so they're contacting behind them. And as you can see, if I'm contacting behind, the racket face is open, therefore the trajectory of the ball is gonna be up, and they're likely to miss it. And this is something that happens both on the forehand side, on the backhand side, because the difficulty is the fundamental ready position before they even start the shot, yeah? So a big problem is that players are going from a position down here to raise the racket to the shot like this. And this is something that we talk about a lot with players, good ready position, good net position. And if they are in both of those, then obviously it's much easier to hit a good shot. So quite often players know that they're doing this wrong and it's something that I've done with all of our students that we talk about, you know, having the racket up at net and being in a good position. And what always happens is the player, their partner serves, they're in a really good position like this, they're thinking, yeah, yeah, we're doing well for this point. Then they play the point and the ball goes to their partner and suddenly their racket drops. And then their racket drops and they're watching their partner, the racket goes down and then they're caught by surprise. So often, if you are starting the point like this, that's fantastic, and you want to try and maintain this position when your partner is playing. That is the biggest time that players drop their racket because they're watching their partner, and then they end up being late for that next ball. One of the best ways to practice this is even in the warm-up before your game. When you're having your warm-up down the line and there at the back of the court and you're practicing your volleys, remember every single time to have that racket up. Yeah, every single time that that racket is going up. And then when you're at the start of the match, this can then be another focus because when you're warming up, every ball is coming to you. So it's easy to get into a ready position because each time you're expecting the ball. So when it goes into that match, Every single time the ball goes down to the other end of the court and the players are playing from the back of the court and you're at net, expect the ball to come to you. If you expect it every single time, you're gonna be in a good position and you won't be caught late. The problem is when, like we said, it goes to your partner and then you put the racket down and you're waiting and you're watching and you're thinking, maybe it will come to me and therefore you're not ready for that next shot. So if you know that preparation is an issue for you, really focus on that ready position when you're at net. And also on this side, I'm gonna put another video about your shot preparation from the back of the court that will help you play faster paddle. <laughs> 